Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. I'm extremely excited to bring this video to you today. We're going to dive into three whiskeys that I've had for a long time and I've never wanted to try. And literally, I've had zero desire to try any of these three bottles. But today, we're going to pull them out, we're going to try them, and we're going to see if I've been leaving them on the shelf too long or if these are as bad as I think they're going to be. Now, first up tonight, I've heard such mixed reviews, and by mixed, I mean generally negative reviews. Castle and Key Small Batch. This thing's coming in at 99 proof. This is batch two, uh, aged four years. Let me show you that bottle there. I've heard such mixed things about it. I just had zero desire to open it, but tonight we're gonna crack the cork and see. Next up tonight is Nelson's Greenbrier Handmade Sour Mash Tennessee Whiskey coming in at 90 proof. I have had zero desire to try this one and I've had it for quite a while. It came out in Virginia, I saw it. It was an allocated day, it was the only thing I could grab. And I grabbed one and, well, it's kind of just sat on the shelf because I've had zero desire to drink it. And last up tonight, another one which many of you may have already tried. I haven't. Kirtland Small Batch. This is the Small Batch Selection 92 Proof Barton 1792. I'm just not, I don't, just don't even care. I just didn't even want to try it. And so, uh, but tonight we're going to try all three of these. We're going to see if any of these are mistakes that I've just, I've, I've left them over there on the shelf with a bunch of other unopened stuff and I've never wanted to try them. And we're gonna find out, was I wrong or was it probably best that I left them over there unopened and just leave them alone? So let me crack them, we'll get them poured up and we'll try them out. Let's crack the cork. That was weak. That's pretty solid. Ah, the best of the night. I think this thing is made out of pure metal. This thing is crazy heavy. All right, let's pour them up. All right, I've let these air out for a few minutes, and I gotta say, let's. But we'll give them a second more to air out. But while while that's happening, I will say the Castle and Key bottle is the most beautiful of the night for sure. This is easily the best bottle. I think the Nelsons is probably second, just kind of a traditional whiskey bottle, and then this Behemoth Kirtland bottle. Of course, if it comes from Costco, it's got to be huge. <laughs> so this is definitely the the biggest bottle. And you know, I I think I paid. I don't exactly remember how much I paid. I want to pay is around thirty bucks. Um, a while back, I went up into Maryland, up to DC, the DC Costco, and picked it up up there. 92 proof Barton, 1792. I've heard decent things about it, but I'm just not enthused. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I, maybe I need to reevaluate things. Anyway, let's dive in. Let's start with the Castle and Key because this is the one that I think is the most suspect of the uh, the bottles on the table tonight. On the nose, I'm getting almost like a little bit of a sour grape. It's very mild though. Little bit of vanilla. There's a little bit of, it's hard to describe. It's almost like a, a grainy lemon. Yeah, it's like a grainy lemon with stuff. It's, it's interesting. All right, let's give it a sip. Um, not the best bourbon I've ever had. Honestly, it's probably better than I thought it was going to be. In fairness to all three of these bottles, I just popped the cork on them a few minutes ago. So they haven't had their normal time to develop. I think the sweetness on this one's going to come through a little bit later. Right now, there's a, a kind of a vibrant lemon head quality, a little bit of vanilla syrup, um, kind of a thin mouthfeel, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a spice to it. A little surprise by it. It's 99 proof, so uh, it does have a little bit of proof spice there. Honestly, it's better than I thought it was going to be. I'm getting a little bit of a pine board, faintly. A uh, little bit of a uh, kind of a dry oak. That's honestly surprisingly that's better than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's move on to the next one because that's that's better than I thought. All right, this Nelson's Greenbrier Sour Mash Tennessee whiskey. It's got a little bit of a faint graininess. It's got kind of a what is that like a kind of a it's kind of earthy. It's kind of got a little bit of kind of some earthy notes in there. The nose, honestly, the nose on the Castle Key was probably a little bit better. Okay, that's not my, my it's not my jam at all. Um, this is very kind of bitter. This one is like a sour grain, almost like a, an unsweetened fruity pebbles kind of thing going on. A little bit, a little bit of lemon. 
a little bit of a dry, dry oak, a little kind of a, it's got a decent mouth feel, but I don't like want to drink more of it. So this thing's 90 proof, but it, it just smells and tastes kind of funky. It is not coming across as like a bad bottle as far as like it's turned bad or it's been tainted or anything like that. But that's just the, like I said, it's the best thing I can describe it as is like a, an unsweetened fruity pebbles with spice, a little bit of licorice, just faint black licorice. Very, very faint though. A little anise, a little mouth tingle thing going on, a little numbing aspect to it. I really don't love it. Let's move on to the uh, the Barton 1792 from Costco. The Kirtland giant bottle, small batch selection. Little uh, little bit of a musty barrel. Kind of reminds me of a, uh, a bottle of 1792 small batch that's not very good. That's what it reminds me of on the nose. I'm getting a little bit of honey. A little bit of... Like I said, a little bit of kind of a musty barrel, some dustiness in there. Let's try to get it. Kind of has this burnt toast aspect to it. So I want to say it's like cinnamon sugar on toast. And it's like kind of nice that way, but the toast has got this like burnt char to it. And I want to say it's the char from a barrel. Obviously, that's where the charry notes are coming in. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's got a decent mouth, this decent mouth feel. It's got a little bit of a bitterness to it as well. It's got a little bit of like a mushy apple. That part's actually not bad. Overall, it's not terrible. It's nothing I'm super excited about. And now I've got a giant bottle of it to drink and it's not the thing I'm most excited for in the world. Um, so overall, I would say, uh, yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, not great, 92 proof. You get a lot for not a whole lot of money. The standard Costco, it's Kirtland brand, right? Um, so, uh, but yeah, from 1792, I, I could see where where this is. Uh, I see where it's 1792. It's a little different, obviously. It's not terrible. It's growing on me. It kind of has a, like a little bit of a warm apple cider now. You know, I said it kind of had a mushy apple. Well, now it's kind of reminding me of like the cinnamon, toast, apple, kind of all coming together. It reminds me a little bit of like a warm apple cider that's been sitting around too long. It's been heated for too long, kind of burning a little bit. It's not bad, actually. It's better. Okay, it's it's growing on me. Um, all right, so which do I like the best? Let me, let me go through and rank them, and when we come back, I'll put them on podiums. All right, let's rank these things. So coming up, a clearly third place to me. This is a bottle I am not enjoying at all right now. Uh, maybe it'll open up in time. You know, I mean, it is it is early in the bottle's life, so so maybe it'll get better over time. Nelson Greenbrier. Uh, this thing is uh, not my jam. It's a Tennessee whiskey, which normally I don't hate them, so I'm kind of surprised it came a clear last for me. In second place, we have the Castle and Key. Um, it was better than I imagined it was going to be, but not not as good as the legendary uh, Kirtland Small Batch 1792 Barton Whiskey, uh, which is clearly, um, you know, one of the primo whiskeys that everybody should be searching for these days. <laughs> I kid, but uh, it's actually not that bad. Um, so do I regret leaving them on the shelf as long as I did? Well, the answer is no, I don't. Um, I would have been just as happy if all three of these stayed on the shelf unopened where they were. Uh, so this was a good little experiment for a video to see, uh, you know, a little bit of punishment for uh, for, for failing on uh, Matt Madness so hard, which was, uh, I didn't expect to do particularly well, <laughs> but that was rough. Anyway, I appreciate the opportunity. That was a lot of fun to be on there with uh, with, uh, with all the folks, Independent Joe and Bruzel and, uh, and Matt and the other Matt, and uh, just thankful for the opportunity to do it because I'd never done anything like that before. So uh, definitely a lot of fun. Uh, failure is a learning experience. But, uh, you know, and, and these three guys were sitting on the shelf uh, failing. Now I opened them and they kind of failed too. So uh, it is what it is. But, you know, sometimes you buy stuff and you don't know how it's going to turn out until you open it. And sometimes when you open it, it is it lives up to the expectation you had. 
Uh, the question is, why did I buy them? Well, this one I bought because I had no idea and it was an allocated bottle in Virginia. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to buy that thing. So I bought it and uh, it's it's not good. I don't like it at all. This one I bought because one, it was a beautiful bottle. Two, it was Castle and Key and I really wanted to try it because it was our first offering. And then I saw a bunch of reviews and then I just left it because I didn't want to try it. And then I opened it and it's not great. It's better than I thought it was going to be, but not great. And then lastly, everybody got super excited last, uh, what was it, during COVID? For the uh, for Kirtland to come out with the 1792 Barton stuff. And so I picked up this one when I was up in uh, D.C. one day. And I, I had it for, geez, it's, uh, it was literally the middle of COVID when I bought this thing. And it's, uh, it's, it's probably better than I thought it was going to be. It's not as good as the 1792 small batch. In my opinion, I don't think it stacks up, although I haven't put it next to it. So I could be wrong. But with all that said, if you've got some old Dusty sitting on the shelf that you've never opened because you're a little scared to... I dare you to open them. I really do. I think you should open them, try it, and post a comment below and say, hey, I opened this one because David asked me to, and it's better than I thought it would be. It's worse than I thought it would be. I'd love to know. Uh, but with all that said, um, I don't want to hold any of these up as a bottle I love. If you ended up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until next time, find a bottle you love.